Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you some creative ways that you can customize the style of the cookie alert in your Squarespace website. We'll be using some of the custom codes listed in the description below, but before you copy and paste those into Squarespace, I'm going to share my screen to teach you exactly how to use them and how to make them uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and in this video, we're going to review some of the design changes that we can make using the interface, and I'll be sharing some custom code styles for anything and everything else. If you want to skip ahead to the custom code awesomeness, use the timestamps below. But let's talk about what styles we can change for our cookie alert here inside Squarespace. I'm going to navigate to my settings menu on the bottom left hand side of my screen. From there, I'm going to select cookies and data privacy. This takes me to the new cookie alert, and I've toggled on the cookie banner. Scrolling down here, you'll see where we can customize the text, the accept button label, manage cookies button label, decline option, and you can turn those buttons off if you don't want them to be on your cookie alert. You can adjust the disclaimer text, and you can change the layout of how it shows up when people edit their cookie preferences, a subfooter, or just a button on the side. Now scrolling back up to the top, let's talk about customizing the banner style using the settings inside Squarespace. Clicking on this option will open up a brand new menu on the right hand side of my screen. This is where we can change the color theme. This will adjust things like the color of the text and the background and even change the buttons. At the time of recording this, the accept button will match your primary button styles, the decline button matches secondary, and manage cookies will match your tertiary button styles for this color theme. We can also edit the disclaimer text size using the slider right here on the side. Now how do we actually change the font style of that disclaimer text? We need to navigate back to our site styles menu, select fonts, Scroll down to Assign Styles, and all the way at the bottom of this list, you'll see Cookie Banner Disclaimer Text. Clicking on this option, you'll see it's assigned to match our paragraph text with a custom size. Now we can change this to match our heading, our miscellaneous, or a custom font, and choose any font family and additional settings that we want. That'll work for just the cookie alert. I'm sure you've noticed that the cookie alert has disappeared. We can't see it while we're editing. We can only see it in the cookie alert menu. So be super careful when you're assigning a custom font because you won't be able to see it until you select save and exit and you navigate all the way back to where the cookie customized banner style option is. All right, now that we've taken a look at all the things we can edit inside the editor, let's talk about changing it with custom code. In this tutorial, I'll teach you how to change the background color just in case you don't want it to match your color theme. We'll add a border and a box shadow. I'll teach you how to change the button styles for each one of these three options. We'll talk about the manage preferences color and title, which is a whole new setting. Check this out. When you click on manage cookies, you're going to see a whole new option here and I'll teach you how to edit the style of this as well. I'm going to go ahead and select exit and because the cookie alert is part of our entire website, we're going to add our custom code to our site-wide CSS file. On the left hand side of the screen, I want you to click on the word pages underneath the word website. This takes you to your pages menu and near the bottom you'll see website tools. Click on that option and here we have custom CSS. We're going to add the custom codes listed beneath the video right here. Now, unfortunately, we're not able to see the cookie banner while we're editing with code. So I'm going to add our custom code right here and select save, and then I'll open up an incognito tab. Now here on this incognito tab, we can see the cookie alert that we have on this website. I'll click refresh because we added code, and now we can see our changes. We've changed the background to a light gray, we've given it a border, and we gave it a box shadow so it kind of pops out of the screen a little bit. Unfortunately, that makes it really hard to see all of these buttons, so we're going to need to change those with custom code as well. I've added some more custom code here and I'll select save. Let's go ahead and refresh our incognito tab, and now we can see the buttons have changed. The accept button has a green background, the decline button has a red background, and the manage cookies button has a solid white background. All of this is super customizable, and background color was just a quick way to show you how we can isolate those buttons. You can give them all borders, change the font style, the font color. You've got all kinds of options for customizing those buttons using these selector classes right here. And again, this whole code will be underneath the video. Now let's talk about manage preferences. This is a new feature with this new cookie alert style available from Squarespace. When I click on manage cookies, we're going to see a brand new overlay. These are the preferences set to the browser, and we can also change these with custom CSS. But check it out, this will be visible on our main website. 
When you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll see the cookie preferences option. Clicking on this, we'll be able to see our Manage Cookies overlay. So let's customize it with a little bit of code. I'm going to give it the same background color that we gave to the cookie alert, just to show you how easy it is to change. Now it's a darker gray. Uh, let's go ahead and make it pink so it's really obvious that we've changed it. There we go. Now the other thing I'd like to show you how to do is how to change the title for Manage Cookies. We can make that look a little bit more unique. That's actually an H3, so I'm going to say inside this Manage Cookies overlay box, if there's an H3, Let's open up a curly bracket and say text transform uppercase. So it'll be capitalized. And then we can say font size. How about 20 PX? A little bit smaller. How about we add some letter spacing? Letter spacing 5 PX. And now we've got some spacing there. And you know what? Let's align it in the center. I'll say text align center. And now we have a manage cookies title that's a lot more unique than it was before. Just like all of the other codes in this tutorial, it is super customizable and you can add any font style changes that you'd like to see right here into your custom CSS. Again, we've got the cookie banner at the very beginning and this changed the background color, gave it a border and a box shadow. After that, we changed the style of the accept button, the decline button and the manager cookie alert button. Then we took a look at this cookies overlay and we changed the background to pink for the entire Manage Cookies overlay. And after that, we changed the title of the Manage Cookies overlay so it was uppercase, a smaller font size, with larger letter spacing aligned to the center. After you've made all the changes you want to see, select save when you're done. And don't forget that while you're editing your cookie alert, you're not going to be able to see it here inside your browser window. Open an incognito tab and hit refresh to see the changes that you make to the cookie alert on your website. This is just the start of all the amazing things that you can do with CSS to make Squarespace uniquely yours. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we use to customize that cookie alert, and you'll also find links to related resources that can teach you more about all the amazing things you can do with custom CSS. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn to check out my free training on basic CSS for Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.